Hey guys, it feels like it's been a very long time. It has been over a year. Um, I have been getting a lot of people in contact with me asking about where this, like, where is the position that this whole series is in, the modular building. I had promised a lot of different things. I, I think when I started this project, I had promised that I was going to do like interiors and other other bits that I suppose I never really kind of got around to. Like, the reason I've been gone a year is a lot of changes has happened. I've recently relocated to a different city. I was waiting on the studio to be built. I'm working a lot more than I was the previous um, the previous tutorials. I'm kind of more full-time now. I don't have a lot of time for the these updates as much as I would like, but I have been doing a lot behind the scenes, I guess. I've been working a lot on trying to pick it up and see where it's going to go. So I kind of left the last one the last series, the exterior modular assets, I kind of left that in a bit of a, what I felt was a no man's land. But I was considering what am I going to do with it, and there's no point in me going back to it as such, because I've kind of covered pretty much every concept that I'm going to be covering from this point going forward. So I think the, the best thing for me to do would be, I'm, I'm basically going to be doing the same thing I did on the exterior, but I'm going to develop now an interior set of um segments that we can combine and i've also i've done a lot of um other projects in like personal projects in the in the past couple of weeks and months where i'm going to try to develop them all into like an asset library you're probably seeing in the video roll in the back there's a lot of different type of modular assets there i they're, they're part of a cathedral pack that i made and again they're going to be added in with the the, the manor house pack i'm going to try to make as many different ones and then other ideas was like um ruined you know like temple ruins you know where not everything is perfect it's more of a a ruin i guess and we're, i'm going to combine all of them into one huge library so they can all just be picked and pulled from as needed that's 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 the intention but again if i get around to it within this year i don't know i don't know how it's going to go because like, I was doing this to help out a lot, and I still really, really want to help out. Like, I love when people get in touch and say that it's helping them. Like, it genuinely makes this worth doing. But it's just the fact that, like, my time now is so limited, I just really need to see how it goes, you know? And the plan would probably be, instead of scrapping all the work that I've done, because it's a hundred, hundreds of hours of work that I've kind of put in, for seemingly nothing at this point. So I might as well see where it goes. I might try to make the file itself, the Blender file and all the modular pieces, all the assets. I'll make them available in some way. Maybe like through a membership or something like that. I'm not too sure yet. I've floated the idea around and to be honest, I don't like the idea necessarily, but I can't sustain what it's doing at the moment. Like the time is too, the hours are too few and far between, if, if that makes sense. So I might just kind of see where it goes. I'm going to pick things up, I think, with an interior um, series. Like, so we're going to take everything that we have up to this point. So I think I've finished at like video 33. And I'm not going to go back to video 1. I'm going to go to video 34. But it's going to be part of the, think of it as season 2 of the modular building. Okay. So it's just going to be the exact same principles and the fundamentals haven't changed. The only thing that really changes here is kind of the rules that you need to adapt to make them interior rather than exterior. And I think at this point it gets a lot more fun as well. We'd be looking a lot at um, going further into like making materials and textures, you know, and how do we take, instead of like taking a segment of assets and turning that into like maybe take, say, a double window segment. And instead of having the same double window segment, we have multiple variations of a double window. To give a bit more variety and what you can choose. So we're going to do that with the textures as well. Like how do we take a standard double window and make that look completely different just by changing the texture. So I'll probably try to go further into like creating textures and editing textures to make variations of it as well. Another thing also that was hit on was somebody was reaching out saying that they'd love to know how how could you integrate a displacement workflow, which would obviously displacement relies on topology. So you need very, very high resolution meshes to use the displacement. But I have a technique that I use where I can reduce, you know, basically it's like retopology. Once you have a very high, high piece that you want to make modular, 
you can re topologize that and make it make it work in, in in ways that normally wouldn't work with the standard way we're using um the snap system and the way everything joins together there's little tricks that we can use to make high poly assets usable in this scenario as well i will be going over that as well um i'll there's a couple of things where i want to try to integrate the two together just to get a more realistic look for the exterior pieces in particular at this point though i will have to let you know the scene is getting kind of heavy there's a lot of very high resolution textures gone in so it might lag a little bit i might need to cut this into two different projects so there'll be the modular assets and then there'll be like the material side of it because at the moment i'm finding that blender is kind of seizing up an awful lot it's all because the textures are like 4k resolution and there's plenty of them the texture library is getting quite large also since um the last series kind of left left off blender has changed a lot um i think we were using three point three point three point oh maybe I, I, honestly it's been so long since i opened the project and um, but now we're up in the the four series you know so Blender has changed a lot, so I will kind of be refreshing over the interface, I guess. And um, there's probably different techniques now we can actually look at that even I haven't tried out. So a lot of this will be kind of in real time. People watching this will be discovering as I discover it too. So it'll probably be full of errors and full of mistakes. But like I said, I'm catching up. I'm learning this too. So I guess you can't get any more real time than that. You know, you get to watch me mess up an awful lot and you know that's what happens you learn more from your mistakes than what you get right so let's try to look in the positive side about that i guess so then i guess with all things considered i'm just going to take the old project and i'm going to go exactly from where we left off i'm going to clean out the hierarchy and then i'm going to set up um a whole folder for interior pieces and we're going to just take the, the exterior pieces that we've done up to this point and we're going to go from there we're going to start building an actual scene and an interior as well and then maybe i might even consider at the moment i'm currently studying unreal engine as well i've, I've always worked in unity as a professionally I've, I've worked in unity i'm trying to expand as well i want to learn um, unreal so i might take these and then i'll try to do some sort of a integration section where i take the modules rebuild and texture and blender and how to get them into unreal and actually start developing in interior level there using all these assets so that's all part of the um the pipeline i guess it's, it's something that i want to turn this from just being a tutorial season but i want to turn this from just being a tutorial se series into what's a practical way that it could be used you know in an industry kind of setting and as i go i will be learning this too so it might be slow and sometimes very slow and i won't know what i'm doing but it's all about figuring it out, I guess. So yeah, uh, we'll cover integration as well. We'll get it into a level and start building an actual interior scene and just see, see how it goes. See how it goes from there. So yeah, in this season two, I suppose what, what you can expect would be, we're gonna start on the interior stuff. We're gonna go further into materials and we're gonna, we're gonna kit out the interior and then depending on how that goes, it, probably will be a bit boring to be honest because of a lot of what i'm going to be going over has already been covered in the exterior stuff the principles like i said are, aren't going to change so it's more of a, like this will kind of refresh everything and once this is done then i'll probably consider maybe adding interior furniture something like that so it's really going to be a, a model along with me instead of a tutorial at this point because i've already said everything i'm going to be saying you know so this is kind of like it'll be a, a real time a real time explanation of how i go about things like so we'll we'll do the interior segments and then we'll start modeling you know cupboards shelves tables chairs that kind of stuff and we'll put them all into then like an asset library so we can pull from this library whenever we have a project and like i said about the file itself if it's something that i'm going to be working on continuously and continuously updating for anybody who's interested if it does become an available thing if they want to get it it's obviously going to be you know it's, it's a commercial thing you can use this commercial free it's whatever you want to do with it but i will constantly add to it i'll be constantly building this 
this library of assets that could be used. So I think I'll just leave it at that and jump in. And we're going to basically, like I said, we're not going to go back to this is episode one. This is going to be continue on from where we left off. So we're going to be using all of the segments that we've used up until this point. If you're able to follow along up to this point, it's going to be carrying on from that. So we'll just jump in then and we'll make these, start making these walls in the interior. And we're going to be making floor, floor planes, windows, interior windows. I, I don't know in what situation you'd really use interior windows, but it's probably one of those things. It's probably better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So we might as well just do it. So with that, I guess we'll jump in and um, try to remember where we left off. So I'll see you in the next.